We are indeed with uh, Brian Woods, who is uh, the director, uh, the music director at the World Chess Hall of Fame. Brian, first of all, welcome to the show. Tell us a bit about what you do at the World Chess Hall of Fame. Sure, thank you for having me. Um, I'm a concert pianist by, by trade, so uh, what I, I've trained at the Royal Conservatory in Toronto. I'm based here in St. Louis, um, and so what I do personally is I, I travel to the United States and I perform solo recitals and I do solos with orchestras. Um, so that's what I do, but, but at the World Chess Hall of Fame what I do is I lead the classical programming at the Witch Off, as we call it, for World Chess Hall of Fame, Witch Off Music Series. So alongside my co-music director, Brian Owens, who does the non-classical programming, um, we program two concerts a month that you can come and see here at the World Chess Hall of Fame featuring musicians from all over the St. Louis area in all genres of music. So on the classical end, which is what I do, I partner with the St. Louis Symphony, area groups, um, I myself perform on occasion, and we put on concerts um, every month. And so we get to hear from opera groups, string quartets, um, solo pianists, wind quintets, all kinds of ensembles of music that you can come and enjoy at the World Chess Hall of Fame. Speaking of you performing as well, let's take a look at one of your recent performances. Tell us a bit about that night. How were <laughs> well, the emotions that night? Well, I couldn't uh, hear exactly what was in the clip, but I'm guessing it was Chopin that I was playing from yes. what I was looking at. And um, that was the debut of my concert, uh, Wanderings, which is a concert that I've been touring around the United States. And you can learn all more about this at brianwoodspianist.com, which is where you can learn about me as a performer. But um, I debuted this concert um, with Rex Singfeld in the audience, who is uh, this incredible supporter of everything that happens here at the World Chess Hall of Fame. And um, there was a lot of pressure that night. It was all new music for me. I'd never played this music before in public. Um, it was the entirety of the Chopin Four Ballades, which are some of the most dramatic and challenging pieces in the pianist repertoire. So um, a little bit of pressure, but it was it was an exciting night and it was a um, an incredible event. And it's all on YouTube if you if you want to watch it uh, at the World Chess Hall of Fame's YouTube. Uh, channel, so all there for you to see. And you guys uh, performed the piece during the Singfield Cup uh, opening ceremony as well. Tell us yes. a bit about that. So Brian Owens came up to me uh, or approached me over email about a week before the Singfield Cup uh, happened, and he said, "Look, we're planning this original piece that was based on um, Bobby Fischer, and uh, it." I didn't really know what it was. It, it was he sort of handed me a piece of music, and I said, "I'm not sure how this all fits in." I showed up the day of the opening ceremony. We, we met about two hours before the ceremony started, and it was this very almost um, Hamilton-like kind of presentation of uh, a, a moment in Bobby Fischer's life involving uh, hip hop and piano playing and, and a band. And so we got to perform this for everyone who was there for the opening ceremony of the Singfield Cup, and it just could not have been more exciting, that kind of live feel of putting something together that was new. You know, I'm in classical music, I often put together things that are very old. So this was an exciting thing for me to work on something that was so new and so fresh. It felt like you guys were playing together for a lifetime. <laughs> you said you met two hours before yeah, and you well, put that together. That's impressive. Yeah, that's nice of you to say. I mean, we, we really, uh, w with musicians at this level, I think we're so accustomed to putting together things very quickly and very last minute. So that was the, um, the excitement about it. But I mean, I say it was last minute. He'd been putting a lot of time and, and energy into it. I was just, as I said, sort of a cog in the machine, but it was a fun night. Talk to me about the music series. Uh, can the public join you guys? Absolutely, and, and we actually have a, a concert coming this week. Um, the Winter Opera St. Louis is coming on this Thursday night, October 13th, and that's at uh, 7 p.m. We have our concerts with a, an artist talk at 6 p.m. 
And um, the tickets are still available. I encourage folks to head to worldchesshof.org uh, and slash programming. There's that tab at the top of the screen that you can check out all the things that we have going on at the World Chess Hall of Fame. But that's a concert that's happening this month. Um, just last month, we had the Ariana String Quartet, which is an incredibly famous string quartet here in St. Louis that performed specifically for us at the World Chess Hall of Fame. So there's so much going on, um, and, and tickets are still available for concerts that are happening this month. So I would encourage everyone to check it out. Brian, thank you very much uh, for joining us. Guys, any questions? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Most definitely. Brian, one of uh, the secret pleasures I have in life as a chess grandmaster is when I walk past a chess hustler and he says, you know, let's play for $10. And I think to myself, death is walking by. <laughs> there's this great movie, Shine, where in the movie there's the piano bar scene. He comes in and he starts playing and it's just absolutely brilliant. Have you ever walked into a bar, everything's quiet, sat down at a piano and just wowed everybody into submission, uh, silence, and then magnificent applause. Is that something that happens for you? Uh, sometimes. I would say, I, I will say in the Rome airport one time, I was coming back from a performance there, and um, there was a piano in the, in the airport in Rome, and um, I started playing some Beethoven, and, and folks sort of gathered. And <laughs> I suppose it was a similar situation. Right. Um, I can't say I, play, I played the Flight of the Bumblebee like he did in, uh, in, that, in that bar in Shine, but it was definitely a similar experience. And it's always fun because you always run into music lovers right. that you would not expect um, out in public, which is really what we do as musicians. It's for, it's for others, so that's, that's always a fun time. Wonderful. Much, much success in everything you do here in St. Louis, and good luck on your career. Thank Wonderful. you very much. Absolutely. I was wondering, actually, if you, if, uh, um, you play some chess, uh, by Brian, the way. Yes, I mean, now that you, now, now that you work <laughs> now in the you're an accomplished home, hey. muse musician. I know. I How's told, your cattle to folks outside, I said, I, I, played, I played some with my brother when I was a kid, but it's been some time, and I, I'm afraid I'd embarrass myself. Uh. It's time to learn some. <laughs> There's a, lot in, there's a lot in common between musicians and chess, yes. I find, especially with just, it, just um, you know, the strategy of it all and just the mental focus that you have to have in a performance, in a chess match. There's, there's so much overlap. And, and so we like to say, you know, there's that same kind of black and white vibe with the piano keys mm -hmm. and, the, and the chess board as well. And, and it, it, it works so well together. So you wouldn't imagine that these two things would be, you know, uh, perfect partners, but it, it works out incredibly well. Exactly, and actually Levon Aronian loves uh, music and classical music as well. I don't know if he vi visited performances in the Hall of Fame, but he is, it should, be, should definitely be the one <laughs> from players. Here. Yeah, we do a great, we do actually, there's always a couple grandmasters who like to show up to a lot of our, a lot of our concerts. I think, um, you know, oftentimes chess players are music lovers. And there's a lot of famous composers that are all over chess players. And so, like I said, there's just so much overlap. And it's such a delight to see that all come together at the, at the World Chess Hall of Fame. Thank you so much. Thank you, Brian, again. Uh, good luck. Uh, and with the concert coming up, 